Hello guys, uh, once again my name is Nagato and today I'll be providing you a quick tutorial on how to basically sync uh, modded trophies to your PlayStation Network account. Um, first things, or there's some things I'm going to state before this. If you care about leaderboards or if you are afraid if your account may be banned by PSN, which is very unlikely. I've been using this method for over two to three years and I was a beta tester for trophy hacks, which was made by uh, Silica. But other than that, um, I'm going to get straight into the video and I'm going to have, you know, some fun with this. So as always, I like to state my prerequisites before the video. Um, you need a modded PlayStation Vita using Hankaku and or Hankaku Hankaku Enzo or H Encore, whether from firmware 3.60 to 3.68. Um, and also the link will be in the description. Uh, you will be getting a or I will be releasing a hundred uh, Vita folders, which I'll show real quick on the screen. Let me just toggle out of OBS to my main screen. So. Hold on. So yeah, you'll get a zip folder with containing a uh, hundred platinum games that I, I had did w way back a long time ago. So I was it's just giving back to the community. Um, there's some titles in here I think people would like. You know, like per the Persona series. I put most of the Lego games in there. I was just putting random stuff. Final Fantasy. Um, and there's some a few Japanese games like Hatsune Miku, um, some g Otami games I bought like the Tokyo Boys series, uh, Ultimate, Marvel vs. Capcom, and essentially all of these uh, trophy folders are 100% platinum, so when you sync them up, it will boost your um, account tremendously for trophies. Now, I'll be showing you real quick on how to install this on your Vita. Um things you need is VitaShell, FileZilla, or USB, but uh, FileZilla is the easiest method on how to do this. So if you boot up your Vita, um, open up VitaShell, and before you, if you have previous trophies that are synced to your account or want to save, um, if you go into user and go to zero zero trophy or you could just copy the whole trophy folder and FTP that but in this case um, I'm going to just be deleting all of these uh, folders it shouldn't take that long so you can either delete it from there or FTP um, but the way we're going to do this on how to basically put the folders onto your account once you unzip them using WinRAR or just regularly zip um, Basically, I'm going to show y'all guys how to do that with FileZilla real quick. So let me go back on the computer. So from FileZilla, just type in your uh, IP address. And then where you want to go to is the same place where you deleted the folder. So your zero user and then just go through zero zero trophy. It should be blank since we deleted it. Um, but basically, once you delete all your folders, you could literally uh, drag and drop uh, all of those folders from um, the zip file I gave you. So you can't just dump them by name. You have to uh, put the config and data in. So you can't just drag the whole folder. The Vita won't read them. But basically, if you drag each folder in configure data, um, you will get a hundred folders. The easiest way on doing this is just maybe make it another folder. Like I'll show you an example of what I've done real quick. If you go to like, I put mine in sets, so I put mine in sets of a hundred. So if you have this set up just like this, like the config with all the, um, config folder stuff like the PNG and dot SFM and all the data folders in one. And then you just sync and makes it much easier. So all you would have to do is essentially just copy over the config and data and have a hundred folder set. But so once you just transfer over the uh, trophy or like the game from config and da uh, data, the trophy will be on your Vita. Now I'll go back to the um, Vita real quick using OBS. Now since we're on our Vita. 
hold on I think I just exit out yeah since we're on our Vita now you could go back out and you could go to restart Vita show and then just press the PlayStation button and then you want to close out your trophy app if you already had it open um just click on the trophy app once again and on my screen it may not show but because I'm using OBS and it's acting a little weird while streaming but basically um if I hold on let me do something real quick and it'll show up okay so it should be saying restore database and it will show you the game yeah there it go yeah so as you see on the screen right now you see jack 3 that we just transferred from our uh pc to our vita it will show up and now all you would have to do is just sync the folder and essentially that's how easy it is it's just basically dragging and dropping uh folders to your pc now there are a multitude of ways on how to unlock trophies there's an suprx made by silica there's also um his he has another method where you could basically take a uh, a Sony uh, VPK and then unlock trophies and there's like a multitude of, of like ways to unlock trophies for the Vita from PC or on your Vita and I'll probably be doing other uh, or oh, I'll be showing you other ways on how to do this um if you do like this video please leave a comment um if you want more content like this pertaining to the Vita um please let me know I currently don't have a capture card and I don't have the best PC setup at the moment, uh, but I, I do have a PlayStation 4 and PS3 that I want to start doing videos for. I have an old PSP that I would like to, you know, start messing with too in terms of recording. So once I get all that stuff done, um, we basically could have a lot of good times on this channel. Uh, thank you once again. It's Nagato and I'm signing out.